Hello, I hope everyone's doing as well as can be expected given the current circumstances. Uh, I'm putting this video together to welcome you to our English 202 course. My name is Tony Berman and I want to take a few moments to introduce you to the course. There are three main things I'd like to discuss. Number one, I want to talk about the course design or the, the interface that we'll be using. Uh, number two, I want to talk about the actual content of the course and touch on some key points in the syllabus. And then number three, I'd like to address how a typical week unfolds. So to get started, let's talk about that course design. Now, uh, obviously, if you guys landed on this page and you're watching this video now, then you have some understanding of the course design. That is that we're using the Canvas course management system uh, and really everything that you need from the course is a click away. Let me explain. If you look at our homepage right now, uh, you can see that I'm providing an overview of the week one materials. I'm giving you the schedule for week one and then I'm giving you this overall course overview. Each time that you come into uh, our homepage, you will see that the week that we're working on will be linked. Will be, there will be a hyperlink. And so there'll be a hyperlink for week one, there'll be a hyperlink down here for week one. And all you have to do is click on that hyperlink and it will take you to the page for that given week. So if we were to click on the week one materials, we would see a page like this. And everything that you need for that week is here. And when I say everything, what I mean is all of the materials that you need to read, all of the lectures that I'd like you to watch, all of the assignments that I'd like you to do, you can access from this one page. So week one is a little atypical in that there are two due dates, but you can see that what we have here is all the materials that I'd like you to take a look at for Wednesday, and then the assignments or links to the assignments that I'd like you to complete for Wednesday. Similarly, here are the materials I'd like you to take a look at for Friday, and here are the links to the assignments I'd like you to complete for Friday. So all of the materials for a given week can be accessed via one page. And so when I say that all the materials are a click away, I mean it. Each week the home page is updated such that there's a link to the week that we're on. You click the link, you can access all the materials. I hope that that makes sense. Now uh, I want to touch on the actual content of the course. And to do that, uh, I'd like to take you back to that week one materials and I want you to see that the first thing I've given you is the syllabus. And if you click there, uh, you'll end up on our syllabus. And I just want to make a few points about it. Uh, first, uh, you can see right there up top is my email address. Uh, and if you ever have any questions or concerns, that's the best way to get in contact with me. Feel free to send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, no more than 24 hours and usually much quicker than that. So you've got my email right there. Uh, I'm also going to host uh, online office hours on Thursdays from 11 to 12. So again, if you have any questions, uh, you can feel free and come to those online Zoom office hours and ask me any questions that you have. Okay. Now, let's talk about the course content. Uh, the name of the course is English 202 Critical Thinking and Composition. And we can break those two terms down. When we see the term composition here, I want you to think of writing. So this is a writing course and we'll be doing a lot of writing. We'll be analyzing writing, we'll be creating our own arguments in writing, right? So the course is about writing. And when you see the term critical thinking, for us, for this course, you can translate critical thinking with the term persuasion. And so really what this course is about is analyzing how persuasion works in writing. That's what we'll be doing. We'll be analyzing a ton of texts and investigating how the persuasive qualities of those texts work. So that gives you kind of an overview of where we're headed. Uh, if you read the syllabus in detail, you can see that I give you a breakdown of specifically what we'll be doing in each unit. And so feel free to take a look at that. Now, I want to say a couple of things about the grading. The course is worth 100 points total, and you collect points as we go. You collect points on the major assignments, you collect points on the writing journals I ask you to do each week, and you collect points on the discussion boards that I invite you to come to. And so uh, you're just collecting points throughout the semester, and all of those points are then put over 100, and that equates to your final grade in the course. The good news is this. I do provide 
uh, extra points. And so there is some built-in extra credit as we go. And so I don't want you to think like, oh man, 100 points, uh, I'm freaked out right now and I don't know if I can do it. Okay, I know that this grading system can seem a little scary at first, uh, but really, uh, I've set it up in such a way that I hope that it motivates students, and I've also created a little bit of wiggle room with a couple of extra points here and there. Okay, So, uh, I hope that that gives you an understanding of both what we'll be investigating over the next couple of weeks, next 16 weeks, uh, and how we'll be going about scoring it. Okay, now let's talk, touch very briefly on the typical week. Uh, typical week works like this. A typical week uh, means that materials come out on Friday. And so the way of thinking about it is that your work is due once a week. Your work is due on Thursdays at 11.59 p.m. Cool? So that's when I receive your major assignments and your discussion boards and your writing journals, that's when it's all due. And so what happens is I go through that work on Friday mornings and then on Friday, either late morning, early afternoon, I open up the next week's materials. And so uh, you have from about noon or so on Friday until the following Thursday night to complete all of the reading, all of the to watch the lectures and to do the assignments for a given week. And each week you can think that we'll be working on primarily three things. Uh, we're often working on a major assignment and so maybe you're doing a draft. Uh, there's often a writing journal and that's where I'm asking you questions about a particular reading we're doing. And then there's a discussion board. And so the idea is that each week there's at least three different tasks that you're working on. Again, I've tried to create a little bit of wiggle room. So for example, uh, with regard to the discussion boards. Uh, there are going to be 15 discussion boards throughout the semester, although with regard to scoring, they equal 10 points. And so it's possible that you're not involved in every discussion board and you'll still be able to do fine in the class, or you can be involved in every discussion board and therein lies a little bit of that extra credit. So uh, hopefully that gives you a sense of how the typical week works. Hopefully you have an understanding of how the grading works. Hopefully you know uh, what the content is about. Uh, and so welcome to the course. If you have any questions, you know where that email is. Take good care.